Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this presentation on Cisco Umbrella, formerly called OpenDNS. My name is Muhammad Hosenbokas. I'm the ICT coordinator and Meraki Systems Administrator here at Nord Islam Primary School. If we look at the agenda for this presentation, we will shortly go through an introduction to the topic at hand, followed by a brief overview of possible threats which children face on the web. A demonstration of setting up Cisco Umbrella on Windows 7. Remembering at the same time, Cisco Umbrella can be set up on any computer regardless of window of what windows they are running, whether it be Windows 10 for example, on Macs even, as well as tablets, iPads, phones, iPods, etc. Now introducing this presentation, we should realize in this day and age, children find themselves more and more on the internet, whether this be for educational purposes, i.e. conducting research or even pleasure. Under Nord Islam e-safety policy, the children should be supervised whilst they are on the internet. When they're using it for research purposes, please refer to the e-safety page on our website. But all in all, this still presents parents with the dilemma of filtering their content out for harmful things. Before I proceed with the Cisco Umbrella solution, I would like to mention some of the threats which are present online in order to highlight the severity of the issue. At this point, I'm going to mention one threat and then I'm going to pause for a few seconds to allow you to think of some threats yourself. This is just to make the presentation more interactive and consequently more productive. The most prominent threat that comes to mind is adult theme content. Then there is chat rooms. Remembering that there are many types of chat rooms. There's religious chat rooms, dating chat rooms, and even anonymous chat rooms where you can even meet up with strangers. This is followed by social sites which includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Then there is dating sites. Sometimes you have dating ads that pop up on some websites. Another threat is drugs. This could even be websites that endorse drugs or sites which explain on how to attain them. Another threat is instant messaging, which is a type of online chat website such as Yahoo Chat. Another threat is movie sites. These are websites which allow you to watch them. This is followed by sites on weapons, on where to buy them, how to forge them, etc. Then you have websites on violence, hate and discrimination. Then you have photo sharing sites such as Flickr, gambling sites, game sites. That includes games which have chat rooms. Now phishing, spelled with a ph, is not so much is not so much as a threat that faces children online. Phishing is basically scammers literally phishing for other people's personal information through fake websites. These are websites which try to personate other websites such as Amazon or eBay in order to steal other people's banking details. I only included this in order to show the wide range of protection offered by Cisco Umbrella. I think you would agree that after listing a few of many threats that the issue is a severe one. Which brings me to the next agenda in this presentation, which is the solution to this problem, which is Cisco Umbrella. At this point, I'm going to conduct a small demonstration explaining how does someone access a web page on any given de device, whether it be a laptop, desktop, computer, tablet, phone, etc. Et which in turn will explain how Cisco Umbrella works. Now I know the part in which I'm going to explain how someone gets access to a website is not totally accurate, but for the sake of clarity I have laid it out this way. To begin with, when you want to go to a website such as bbc.com or any other website for that matter, regardless of what uh, regardless of what web browser you may be using, whether it be Internet Explorer or Firefox or Safari, etc. Your computer communicates with something called a DNS server. 
you can think of the DNS server as the phone book for the internet. So like I said, when your computer wants to go to bbc.com or any other website for that matter, your computer communicates with the DNS server. It's almost like the phone book for websites. It requests from the DNS server the IP address for that website. You can think of the IP address as the phone number for that website. So what the DNS server would do, it would send back an IP address for that website, the phone number for that website, which could be something like 202.55.66.1, for example. Your computer will use this IP address to go to the this uh, IP address, this phone number, to connect to bbc.com. So what you could do is change the public DNS server that your computer goes to to Cisco Umbrella. And um, what would that do is that anytime you want to go to a website, it would check your IP address of your device against the account that was created for you. And depending on what was set up for you, it will allow or disallow you from going to that website. So as you can see, the simplicity of Cisco Umbrella, there's no need to install anything. And at the same time, uh, it offers a wide range of protection at the network level. There's no need to run updates. So here we are at uh, Cisco Umbrella, formerly called OpenDNS. Uh, it still retains this name, OpenDNS, for home users. I will leave a link uh, beneath in the video description. You first need to go over to it, over personal and click beneath where it says learn more. You are then faced with three options. The first is open DNS family shield, which is as mentioned pre-configured for you, meaning they have chosen a number of things to block for you. Then you have open DNS home, which is this middle option. Then there's open DNS VIP. Now I'm going to show you uh, the difference between these various options. So the difference between Open DNS Home and VIP Home is that with VIP Home, you can retain a log of all the websites you've been to for the past year as well as you can completely lock down your children's access to the internet by granting them only to websites of your choice. For example, cbbc, I don't know, .com. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to set up OpenDNS Home, which is this option over here. However, the process behind setting up the various versions, whether it be OpenDNS Home or OpenDNS VIP, or open DNS family shield is similar. With regard to the home version, you need to create an account. Click here where it says sign up under the open DNS home. You will then need to fill in appropriate places, email address, confirm, email address, select your country and create a password. Make sure you keep your password safe and then click on uh, get a free account. Once you've created an account, you'll be sent a verification email. If not, check your junk folder within your email. It may have been sent mistaken. It may have been mistaken for junk. Then click on the registration link to confirm within that email. Once you've created an account with OpenDNS, Open um, Cisco Umbrella, this window showing you how to set up uh, Cisco Umbrella on various devices should appear. Note under smart devices, you can actually set up a Cisco Umbrella on game. Once you click the link within your email, you'll be brought to the Open DNS dashboard. You can come to this dashboard at any time by going to the Open DNS website and clicking login. Then you click on add a network to set up your account. Your IP address should be displaying here. I'm covering up my one for obvious reasons. 
then click on add this network and then the following window will appear and just follow its instructions we'll call this home leave this ticked download data yes and just enter in your account details and then click done you then come down to here where it says IP address and then click on the IP address this will then present you with the following filtering page you have these levels of filtering so high will protect you against these following things choose custom now you begin to see the power of Cisco umbrella with the wide range of uh, filtering options just make this a bit bigger not whenever you're off when not whenever you hover over an option uh, this window will pop up explaining what that option is I will just scroll through the options you can pause the video anytime just to have a read of them I am going to choose a few options for the purpose of this um, tutorial and where that's very important now notice this bottom part of the page where it says manage individual domains what this allows you to do is to block or unblock various websites so if there happens to be a website that is not being blocked under your filtering options you can type it in and it will be blocked for example bbc.com and then click here where it says add domain to block it alternatively if there happens to be a website which is being blocked under your filtering options and you don't want it to be blocked for example if you have if your child happens to have research, have uh, happens to have some homework on researching on, on the effects of drugs, for example, and there's a particular safe website um, they're going to use, you can type the website here, and then choose never block, and then add that domain to your list. What I would like to show you next is the support feature offered by OpenDNS if you come up to the support tab here and click on it you will be f uh, be presented with these options if there's a particular issue that is plaguing you you can search it up here or still you can post a question on the forum and still if your issue is not being resolved you have this open ticket surface where you can log a ticket, a say request ticket from OpenDNS and they will get back to you through email. Now that we have set up our Cisco Umbrella account, we need to change the public DNS server our devices go to to the one provided by Cisco Umbrella. In order to do this, we need to come back to the setup guide page that appeared earlier. On this page you will find that there are two main ways you can set up Cisco Umbrella either through your router as recommended here or through the individual devices such as your laptops, computers, smart devices and so on and so forth. Now in terms of setting it up on your home router 
I wouldn't suggest you to go through this except if you had some knowledge about um, networking. In either the case, I'm not responsible for any kind of damage that may occur due to you fiddling with your devices. So, like I said, the demonstration will be on a laptop running Windows 7. I will explain later why it is better to set it up on your home router. Uh, as well as there may be a slight issue when you set up on your individual devices. So to begin with, I'm going to go to computer workstations and laptops because that's what I want to configure. Now you have the various other operating systems. I'm going to go to Windows 7 because that's what I have. And I'm going to follow this um, list of instructions. To begin with, I'm going to follow the instructions by going into control panel. And then into network and sharing center. Or network and internet and network and sharing center. I am then going to click on area local area connection as stated in the instructions. I have covered up my one for obvious reasons. And then I'm going to click properties as stated in the instructions. I then click Internet Protocol version 4 as stated in instructions. And then I click Properties. I then change my DNS server settings as mentioned in this following step. to 6722 two, two. Two, eight. 67 and then click OK. What is left is now I need to flush out my DNS cache. I just follow the link and it will give me the instructions on how to do this. I need to go to the start menu and then go into command prompt, type in CMD Then I type in IP config forward slash flush DNS. And I click enter. So that has successfully flushed out my DNS. I'm now going to test uh, the Cisco umbrella by trying to go into this alcohol website. And as you can see, the website is now being blocked. Firstly, I would like to point out the reason behind setting up a Cisco umbrella through your router is the best uh, way. As, I can, as you can clearly see through this diagram, that all your devices connect. To the internet free router so that's why this makes it the best uh, means of setting up Cisco umbrella now like I said how Cisco umbrella works and this is after you've set up 
up an account with them that whenever you want to go to a website instead of your computer going to the public DNS uh, server it will go to the Cisco umbrella once your computer does that Cisco umbrella will check your IP address against the account that you have created what you should note is that your internet service provider whether it be TalkTalk, Talk, Virgin Media changes your IP address from time to time this is also another reason why um, setting up Cisco umbrella through your router is the best way because then you avoid any of these problems now if you recall when we set up uh, Cisco umbrella we had to download an open DNS updater which is this one here what this does it updates Cisco umbrella with your IP address however with devices such as an iPad you may need to look into how can you update your IP address so if you come over to the knowledge base and just type in iPad here you have uh, an article on how to update your IP address and that's about it